Yo guys, it's Brookedge and today I'm going to show you how to make free Roblox shirts without premium. Now before this video starts, make sure you download um, the Chrome extension called BT Roblox. It's going to be allowing you to download the templates of the shirt as well as a lot of other features. You can probably like check it out on YouTube. I think Sharkbox actually made a video on it um, with all the features and stuff. So um, yeah, I highly recommend it and um, let's go on with the video. So let's say you don't have that much Robux and um, you still want to look, you know, you still want to differ from the dozens of people. Now of course it's a bit more effort to change your avatar compared to the regular default. But honestly, you can make your avatar look so much better using a custom shirt and you don't even need premium for it. Literally, you don't have to spend a single penny on it. Uh, let me show you how. So first of all, go to the avatar shop. And go on the shirts and click low to high. Now you'll be able to see all these free shirts that you literally can get at any time. I don't think any of these are going um, down anytime soon. They've been around for quite a couple years now. Damn, four years, five years. These ones are the updated ones. Uh, this one and this one of um, these two. But um, yeah, honestly, you can choose any of these shirts. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to make a t-shirt that overlaps these. And essentially, it will have our own designs, logos and stuff. And will literally look like you bought it. So um, yeah, I'm going to stick with this. To be able to get the template, just click this button. You will be able to see this button once you've downloaded the Chrome extension. Just click that. And then click download. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do that. But um, let's get to the photo editing or the editing of the shirt. Now when it comes to the software, you can literally use anything, you can use paint.net, pixeler or photoshop. I'm going to use photoshop in this video, however you'll be able to follow along if you use the other two um, editors that I did mention. So let's go on with editing. Alright, so I already have the template on photoshop and here um, I'm going to edit and stuff. Before I do that, I just want to get rid of these um, zip and logos because I'm not a fan of them. Um, so I'm going to use this tool, the spot healing brush tool, you can use the, I'm pretty sure there is like a stamp tool or something that basically does the same thing. But um, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of these logos, maybe make the brush a little smaller. Right, for the most part, I've basically got rid of everything um, on the front panel. Now, since we're going to make a t-shirt and we're going to overlap it on the normal shirt, we're going to have to crop this part of the shirt. As you can see, there are transparent lines over it, so it'll be easier to crop out. But let me just try and accurately crop this. I'm just going to do Control c now I'm going to click File, New, and um, follow these dimensions, 128 by 128, you'll be able to do this on Paint Donut also, um, and I'll click Create, and there we go, the exact same size of the front panel, just do Control V, and there we go, now we have the part that we're actually going to work on, I don't know why there is uh, some white splotches here, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Alright, here's the fun part. Literally, you can add any logo, any design you want. You can make your own design, or you can literally like um, rip off a brand that you want. Um, I'm actually going to look on Google and look for some stuff, and uh, maybe think of a design on the top of my head. So, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so I'm going to use this logo. I don't know how the world is going to translate on the shirt, but um, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. Now, um, make sure you resize it. Um, if you're doing this on paint.net, make sure you hold uh, shift, I think, so it doesn't mess up with the uh, dimensions. But yeah, I'm just going to um, resize it. I'm just going to resize it like that. And now I'm going to get the magic wand tool and uh, get rid of this white part. Because it automatically detects the color. So let me just quickly do that and I'll be back in a bit. Alright, so last second I decided to use a different logo. But I basically did the same thing. Um, I also added a drop shadow to the layer so it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's magic one to get rid of the white parts and that's how it looks like. So I'll get rid of this part maybe. Does that look alright? Uh, actually no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, now I'm actually going to save it. 
it's, yeah, it's centered. I'm just going to save this. Save it to my desktop. I'll call it um, Thrasher Test Shirt. Make sure you save it as a PNG. And let's publish it on Roblox. Now, it is a t shirt, so make sure you do publish it as a t shirt. Desktop. All right, so we're gonna have to wear the default shirt first. I think it's somewhere over here. Here it is. Now it might take a bit of time for this to actually like go through moderation. But the Roblox uh, extension actually allows me to preview it despite it, um, you know, processing and stuff. So let me just put some hair on as well. And here we go, that's how it looks like in the preview. For some reason the preview is always really bad quality, so um, I'm actually going to join the game and we'll see how it looks like. So here we go, I just joined a random base plate. But this is basically how the shirt looks, it looks really cool in my opinion. Damn, it actually really turned, it turned out really well actually. Um, so yeah, you can use, of course, any designs. Um, I just showed this one. And yeah. I don't know, I might do more videos on this in the future. This video does do well. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video, hit the like button. Um, hit the subscribe button also if you want more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.